Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I was just going to make this an experimental video. You know, the other day I was taking a look at my inventor kit and my spike prime kit, and I was like, wait a second here. I was wondering, could I put inventor motors and sensors on the spike prime hub and have it work? And can I put spike prime motors and sensors on this inventor hub and have that work? So I was just totally curious. So today's video, we're going to find out, can you intermix the sensors and motors for the inventor and the, the spike prime and the inventor? Let's go ahead and find out. He now Lego Robotics. Oh yeah. So what this is really going to be able to do is be able to give you guys some good information. For those of you that have a spike prime or an inventor kit, you're going to definitely want to know this because, you know, one day if you get the other kit, you're going to wonder, hey, can I possibly run, you know, my motors from Spike Prime into the inventor and vice versa? So today it's going to be really cool to find out if that works or not. So today that's all I'm going to do is just take parts and pieces here. Well, the sensors and motors and put them into the, you know, the differing hub here and seeing if they will run the same program you know, can it recognize the same colors, be able to stop the motor? So it's going to be really cool. Let's go ahead. Okay, guys, so I have the inventor hub here with the spike prime motor and the spike prime distance sensor. In fact, I even put an S on it because it's really hard to tell the distance sensor between this and the inventor. And here's the program that I have. I'm going to start in a second. So the program is going to have this motor run, which we will prove that the spike prime motor can work in an inventor hub. And we also in the program have that if anything is 15 inches or less on this distance sensor, it will cause this motor to stop. So we're going to prove also that the sensors from spike prime can work in this inventor hub. So let's check that out. So the motor is just going to continually run and it's waiting for anything to happen with this sensor here. So if I come up with my hand 15 inches or less, it causes that motor over here to stop. So let me just run that one more time so you can see that. So the good thing here is for those of you that have a spike prime or inventor kit, know that if you someday get the other kit that your motors are compatible with the other kit. So the sensor sees my hand and it causes that motor to stop. So other than being a robotics teacher, I, I can also read your guys' mind. So now you're wondering, Mr. Gino, can we go back and forth? Can we now get a spike prime hub and now put in, you know, the inventor um, motors and sensors? So let's go to that. Okay, guys, so I have the spike prime hub here. It is hooked up to an inventor motor and a inventor distance sensor. I even had to put an eye on there because it's very similar looking to the Spike Prime distance sensor. I had to put an S on that. Okay, so this program is going to prove two things here. It's gonna prove that the inventor motor can work in a Spike Prime hub. And then I also have in the program here, if this distance sensor sees anything 15 inches or less it's going to make this motor stop here so let me just take my hand move it right there and it caused that motor to stop let me just try that one more time here okay i'll move my hand slowly over and there we go so we're proving that the inventor motors and sensors can work with this spike prime hub Okay, now let's talk uh, color sensor here, or light sensor. So this is the uh, inventor color sensor here. And here is the Spike Prime. And there's no markings on here that you would be able to tell which one's which. But I do have the Spike Prime color sensor attached here. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a similar program. We're still going to have this motor run. And when it recognizes yellow, we're going to see that this uh, spike prime color sensor will be compatible with this inventor hub. So let's check this out. 
So there's the motor running. And we're just going to make sure that it can see yellow here. And it's going to cause this motor to stop. And there we go. So we're just continuing to prove that, again, that the motor works, the Spike Prime motor works with the Inventor Hub. And now that this Spike Prime color sensor can still, or also, along with the ultrasonic sensor, work with this Inventor Hub. Okay, guys, so this should be my last experiment. So I have the Spike Prime Hub here. I have the Inventor motor and the Inventor color sensor here. So we're just trying to do what we just did with the Inventor Hub. We're just trying to see if this color sensor from this um, Inventor can work with this Spike Prime Hub. So same thing. I have the motor is going to run. And if it sees red, got my little bottle toss ring here. If it sees red, it'll cause this inventor motor to stop. So let's check that out. Okay, and let's go ahead and show this red to make this motor stop. And there we go. Let's just do that one more time. So this should make you Spike Prime and inventor owners real happy that you now know, if you didn't know already, that these parts and sensors are interchangeable and you can work, you know, you work your magic with either one. So here we go. Yes, works like a charm. Okay guys, so we found out the answer and I'm really happy about that because those of you that have bought the Spike Prime or Inventor, I'm, I'm really, I'm really glad that we're able to now intermix these motors and sensors. So that way we're not having to go, oh, shoot, you know, we can't do this. You know, if we have this motor, we, oh, we can just, you know, intermix it with the other hub. So now we don't have to necessarily worry if the parts or pieces get mixed up. And now if something happens to your, you know, inventor motor, and if you have Spike Prime, now we know, hey, we can just trade it out. No big deal. So... I don't know, it's a really cool um, convenience here to have all of these things just intermix, be able to be compatible with the, each other. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section how you feel about that, but I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, guys, hopefully you had a great time, you know, going with me on this experiment. And I think it's just real cool that now we know. Okay. All right, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay, guys? Take care.